In this brief presentation, we'll introduce you to the Factory Studio Application Engineering environment. Let's get started. When you open a project from the welcome screen, you're immediately brought into the engineering environment. You immediately see Factory Studio provides a new way of working with development tools. With a maximum of three mouse clicks, you can move from any part of your application to another. In the upper left-hand corner is the main menu with only four major options, Edit, Draw, Run, and Info. As you would expect, the Edit option brings you to the areas where you can edit all of the components of your project. Tags is where you define the tags that are going to be used in your project. Security, specify who has access to various aspects of the project. Devices, specify the PLCs and other intelligent devices to be used. Alarms, create alarm groups and alarm conditions. Datasets, datasets are used to connect to third-party databases that may include information you would want to include in your project, such as customer information, product information, recipe information, anything that would not be coming from a controller. Scripts. Create VB.NET and C Sharp scripts to tailor the application to your specific needs. With Factory Studio, you can even switch between languages to develop or enhance scripts based on your own strengths. Displays. Define displays and interface layouts for users. Reports. Create XPS, HTML, PDF, ASCII, and Unicode format reports with dynamic symbols. We'll cover each of the submenu items in their own videos. There are three main areas in the Draw module of Factory Studio that I will call to your attention here. The vertical menu, shown here, has the tools used to put objects onto the display. The horizontal menu across the bottom is used to manipulate those objects. The area at the leftmost part of the screen is used to define the display size and background attributes, as well as the attributes for the tools in the vertical bar and assign dynamics to objects used in the display. Again, we'll cover creating displays in another video. The Run module provides access to all project execution features. Build is used to verify all displays and scripts before deploying the project to production. Status messages are provided for each module an object in the project. This will help guide you to areas needing attention. A history of build statuses is also provided. Test. Using test allows you to run the project to test changes and enhancements without actually writing data to controllers or logging data. This can be done without interfering with the operator using the project. Diagnostic tools also can be used in this module to help resolve any issues with the project. Startup. Startup is where you configure how your project will run in production mode. This will enable the historian and alarm logging features to use databases as defining the project instead of the temporary files used in test mode. Publish. Creates a read-only protected version of the project suitable for deploying to the field. Note This is where you specify major and minor project revision numbers. This is particularly helpful when running projects in validated environments. Use count. Displays the number of times a specific object is used in the project. It even provides a cross-reference of where objects are used. And clicking on any reference will take you to the editing tools where the reference was created. This makes finding and pathing your way to specific references very simple. Localization for applications that need to be run in languages other than English. Extensions. Import OPC server tags and other engineering data tables into your applications. Finally, Info. This provides access to project configuration and license information. One final note to make, as you are developing your project, Factory Studio will place hotkeys across the top of the interface here so that rather than having to click three times to get to where you want, you can click just once to go to where you've previously been 
to resume editing or configuring or at that location. Thank you for joining us for this review of the Factory Studio Engineering Environment. We look forward to working with you soon. For more information, please visit us at www.tatsoft.com and look for other Tatsoft videos online.